Hi everyone, I'm Rose Yang from Chatty Studio. 大家好，我是带你一起学汉语的杨老师。Welcome to our Han Yu Pinyin and Chinese Typing class. In this class, we will have four videos for you. The first one is introduction about Han Yu Pinyin, Han Yu, and we will learn simple finals. The second one. Is about initials. The third one, we will learn compound finals, and last, we will learn how to input Chinese characters. Let's start. Before we learn Pinyin, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to help you. When we speak of Chinese, we always call it Han Yu. Why is it called Han Yu? Han Yu, Han Yu. Han people's language. It is also called Chinese, Huawen, Chinese. Han Yu is a group of varieties that form Sinitic branch of the Sino-Tibetan languages, spoken by the ethnic Han majority and many ethnic minority groups of the Greater China. The common language spoken by the modern Han people is called Putonghua. It is official language of China. It is also we are learned now Mandarin. Han Yu includes standard Chinese and its dialects. As for Han Yu, you think first must be the picture like character. See. Yes, they are the writing system about Chinese. We call them Han Zi. So how do we know them? We need to know their names first, right? So we learn Han Yu Pinyin first pronunciation system. Han Yu Pinyin, the Chinese phonetic alphabet, or Pinyin for short. It is a spelling system of Chinese used by mainland China. We can use them to spell Chinese names in foreign publications, or we can use them as the input method to type characters into the computers and cell phones. Next, let's see the alphabetical letters in Pinyin. I know you are very familiar with them, but sorry, they are not what they are in English. Let me show you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Totally different. They have different names in different languages. They are the symbols of Pinyin. If we combine them together. We will get Chinese syllables, and we can call the names of characters. You can also see the green symbols under the alphabetical letters. They are the phonetic marks we used before, and then the alphabetical letters replace them. But till now, Taiwan people also use them. So. How we get a Chinese syllable? A Chinese syllable includes an initial. It is a consonant. A final. It may be a vowel or a vowel plus a nasal sound. And hun. Let's see this character. He is the initial. O is the final. And we have the third tone. Put them together, we get 好 this syllable. Generally speaking, one Chinese character corresponds to one Chinese syllable. One Chinese syllable can has no initial, but it must have final hun. Here is the initial table. 声母 We have twenty one initials. They are. 波、坡、摸、佛、德、特、呢、乐、哥、科、呵、鸡、七、西、知、吃、诗、日、兹、次、思
we have the final table. We have simple finals. A, O, E, I, U, N. Also, we have compound one. Initials and finals are the main roles in our Han Yu Pinyin. So we will learn them specifically in our following classes. And now let's see another important part of syllable. It's tone. Tone is a variation of pitches. In Chinese, we have four accidented tones. Someone may think, "Hmm, Chinese people will understand me." Even my tones are not so good, or it doesn't matter if I can't read the tones well. No, that would be gravely wrong. Different tones may change the meaning of the sentences, like "ma" is mother, but "ma" is horse. See, you would not be understood well. If you have wrong tones, let's take a、ah, for example. The first tone is a high tone. A、ah, a,、ah, it's the highest tone. So raise up your pitch. You may think, "Wow, there is a beautiful rainbow in the sky." So a.、Ah, Ah,、uh, the second tone is a rising tone. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, it's from the lower pitch to the higher one. It's a little bit like really English word. Try to find the feeling. The third tone is a turning tone. Ah, ah, ah! You dip it first into the lowest and then rise it up. It seems like you want to stop the air stream in the throat and then let it out. Read after me now. Ah, ah, ah! The fourth tone is the falling tone. You need more power because it's from the highest to the lowest. Ah, ah! It's like you are shocked, seriously. Ah, or oh my god! Try to find the feeling. The neutral tone has no mark. You just need to use little power about it. Ah. Very light, very short. Let's review the tones. Ah, 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 ah. I'd like you to use your hand when you practice tones. That will be helpful. Next, we will learn the initials and the finals one by one. Let's start with simple finals. Ah,、uh, ah!、Uh, open your mouth widely. Put the tongue in the lowest position. Let the air stream out naturally, vibrating your vocal cords. It's like ah、uh, in the English word father, but the tongue position is a little bit higher than ah、uh, in father. Read after me. Ah.、Uh, Ah,、uh, o,、oh, o.、Oh. When we pronounce it, contract your tongue towards the root of the tongue, and raise the tongue into the mid-high position. Round the lips. It's like all in English word log. But the tongue position of Chinese o is a little bit higher, and the shape of the lips is a perfect circle, not a blob. 
o o a a the tone position of this song is the same when you pronouncing o o you just shape your lips into a flatter oval like you're smiling it's like a uh, in english word about but the tongue position a little bit higher and the shape of your lips is flatter wait after me uh uh e e i think it's easy for you yes it's the same as e in english word east raise your tongue tip forward and touch the back of the lower front teeth and then stretch the tongue toward both sides e e u u contract your tongue towards the root and then shape your lips into a small oval and protrude your mouth slightly it's like u in english word moon but the tongue position is a little bit higher and the shape of your lips is a small oval u u It is very new for you. First, keep the tongue position as pronouncing e, and then round your lips into a perfect circle as small as you can, and then protrude the mouth more. Don't confuse it with English letter u. When pronounced u, the mid of your tongue is raised slightly, and the tongue tip touches the back of the lower teeth. And also, our shape of the lips is more rounded and protruding. U, u. If you also can't find the feel, you can think. You are whistle, or you want others to be quiet. Try to find the tongue position. And now we have finished the simple finals. Let's review. Ah, ah, o, o, e, e. Next time, can you pick up the right sound you heard? Let's begin. The first one, e, e. The second one, u, u. The third one, e, e. The fourth one, u, u. Fifth one, ah, uh, ah.、Uh. Last one, u, u. Practice makes perfect. Never stop studying. 今天的课就到这里。I'm Rosa Young. See you next time. 再见。